Welcome. The, this is our first week for the Creating an Alcohol Lab. Um, here you will see the TA is weighing out an appropriate amount of iodide crystals. And as we watch, you will see that the TA has weighed out approximately 0 0.526 grams of I2. And as we look here, we can see um, the I2 crystals are being added to a vial that contains approximately 2.5 milliliters of THF. Okay, this will be uh, loaded onto a syringe that will be um, injected. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, we are not going to see this injection. Uh, that video clip was uh, not taken. <clears throat> now, you will also notice um, the uh, glassware apparatus is being assembled. We have a round bottom flask um, with a case clayson adapter uh, attached to it and then there's also the rubber septum that's already on the clayson adapter and then onto the um, elbow arm that comes off the clayson uh, you will see a condenser with a drying tube being added all of this is going to be fixed onto our ring stand <coughs> and then placed above uh, our stir plate. All right, of course, all of this has to be done in ice cold temperatures. So our stir plate is a stir plate, hot plate combo, but the heat is off, we're just stirring. Um, and you will see also the round bottom flask has been submerged um, into an ice water bath. Currently we are at the point where all of our I2 has been added to our 10 millimolar one hexene that was mixed with 10 milliliters of THF. Um, and as the uh, guidelines state or the procedure states in um, step number seven, um, the, oh, excuse me, step number eight, uh, we are, the syringe is being rinsed with acetone. Now at this time, we are removing the ice bath, since we've added all the I2, and we are going to allow our mixture of uh, one hexene and iodide and sodium borohydride to all react for one hour at room temperature. So after one hour of allowing our reaction mixture of sodium borohydride, uh, one hexene, and the iodide to react for an hour, you can see that we have this clear or, or more accurately opaque solution. All right. <clears throat> so now at this point, 
we are ready to go on to step 10 for our week number one procedure. And here you will see that we have added the ice bath back, so our reaction mixture is in the ice bath, and we are slowly going to add five milliliters of distilled water in our syringe that's uh, injected into the septum. Uh, this step is important. Um, our sodium borohydride reaction with the alkene, or in this case specifically hexene, is uh, quite reactive. And so we do want to make sure that we um, deplete or degrade any unreacted sodium borohydride, and that's what the water does. It reacts, and upon that reaction, it actually generates uh, H2, hydrogen gas. And so the bubbles that you can't really see, but the TAs uh, were able to see bubbles, the bubbles that are formed, that is the H2 gas that is evolving from quenching the sodium borohydride. Now that the bubbles have subsided, um, we can remove the ice bath, as you have seen we have removed, um, and we are going to take this resulting solution that, uh, we're, now we're going to take this resulting solution and uh, place it in a vial, in a sealed vial, um, and we will use this remaining solution that does have solid as you're about to see, um, <clears throat> that will be used at the beginning of our week two experiment, which will be the next video.